Cordera and Perry will lead the way. They round turn four. We're underway in the other title parts. Triple crown for the Pure Stocks. Greg Perry, last year's defending champion, jumps out to the early lead. Cordera and Lincoln, single file. Ducks in a row right behind him. Perry crosses the bricks, maintaining a decent size advantage. Two wide racing as that battle for seventh place ensues. Ethan Souza, Mike Henricks, Billy Schoenard are all in the mix. Two laps down, 28 to go here at the action track of the East. Alice Benoit backsliding on the top side. Mike Henricks nowhere to go, caught up on the outside following Rick. Takes a look three wide, settles it back behind as they run three wide off of tour number two, Jeremy Lambert. And the Hellgrim South Coast Power Equipment number 15 trying to make it three wide off of turn number two. Dives out of the bottom there as they head down the back straightaway. Battle for a second. Here comes Lincoln down to the inside of Cordero. Battle for the number two spot. He's got Rotundo. Well up on his tail. Three wide as they head down into one. Benoit caught up on the outside. Shoot slides back behind the zero three as they head down into three and four. Wildman with a good size advantage. Lincoln maintaining second. Two wide racing as that battle for sixth and Sue's. Ethan Souza with the advantage over Schoenard. Both Schoenard and that number eight trying to make it two in a row. Ties it deep underneath the 20. Contact is made. They both slide to three and four, but save it and come through unscathed. Schoenard up to sixth now as they come off at turn number two, and Danny Massa is on the move. Slides underneath the rotundo. Gilligan caught on the outside. Here comes Souza. Throws it in hard and deep. Way up on the racetrack. That opens up the bottom lane. Schwinnard comes through. And a flat right front tire on Ethan Souza's number 30. He'll come through a stall in turns one and two. Or is he going to try to limp it around? No. He comes to a stop. Yellow flag is out. Pure stock division last season. Helga South Coast Power Equipment Pure Stock Division. Six laps complete, 24 remain as the field throws under the green flag. And Greg Perry sets his sights once again at the top of the leaderboard. Rotundo down to the inside of the 34 of Lincoln. Battle for a second, down it to three deep in the pack. Ethan Susan making a three wide move to try to make up some lost time. Up front, Rotundo up to second. Schwinnard right there down to the inside. Lincoln loose up into turn number one. He tries to gather it in three wide down the back straightaway as Massa tries to thread the needle. We saw smoke out of Schwinnard earlier. I think Massa had bumped Lincoln inadvertently, no less. Perry remains in first. He's followed by Rotundo. Two wide racing in that battle for fifth. Lincoln and Hendricks in there. Lambert trying to close in. Nothing there on the inside. Lincoln was bumped. 21 laps to go. Perry still with a sizable advantage. Top five goes to tail down the back straightaway. Right now the battle is for sixth. Lincoln caught up on the outside with Lambert down low as they come off of turn number four. Lambert is now up into the sixth position. Battle for position, third spot up for grabs as Schwinnard and Oletta going at it. They head down into three and four. Back in behind them, Lambert all over Mike Henricks off of turn at number four. Takes a peek down to the inside, settles it behind as they hit the stripe. Rotundo chasing Perry, he cuts to the inside. Single fire line, down they come, turn four. 18 rotations to go. A lot of smoke coming from Hendrickson's number yes. 55. Gotta wonder if that's tire smoke or if he's got some drive line issues uh, as he sits middle of the pack. A lot of smoke as he lets off the uh, gas, and that's going to get him the black flag this time around. Problems for the 55, the Leo Crane machine, and he's all done for the night. Battle for seventh down the back stretch as Jordan Throwfall dives it underneath Jared Cordera. They come off of turn number four. He's got the position. Danny Massa trying to work himself back up through the field. field stretching itself out around the third mile as Perry has opened up a commanding lead over a Tundo Schwinnard trying to close in that gap. 
Uh, Reese slides underneath the 77 of Cordemash and puts him minus one to the leaders. Passing flag out for the slower cars. And you can see Cordemash trying to get the line, but he is all over the place trying to get a handle on that number 77. Battle for fifth. Down off of turn number two. Here comes the 15 of Lambert underneath the 67. A battle for second. Excuse me. Third is ensuing as Schwenard is creeping up on Mike Rotundo. Three wide for fourth off of turn number two, four as Olet gets caught up on the outside. Massa down on the inside. Throw for right there in the 92. The 15 of Lambert, all of those guys doing battle as they hit turn one. Lincoln is in that fight as well as they come down the back straight away. Now the 30 of Ethan Souza try to make his, some noise down low as they hit turns three and four. Perry still leads. Lincoln and Lambert battling for seventh. Schwenard and Hendricks battling for third. Ten laps to go this time across the stripe, and Greg Perry in control, and a large ways opened up over half a straightaway lead as the field thunders down into turn number three. Right now, the battle is outside the top eight with the 30 of Ethan Souza, the 67 of Tim Olet, the 20 of Jared Cordero, all battling for position. Meanwhile, the battle for fifth starting to heat up. Jordan Throwfall all over the back bumper of Danny Massa. They head down the back straightaway. Trouble off a of turn four. Hendricks, row number two. Perry bringing him down at a slow clip. Looking the field over, ready to let them loose. Kevin's got the green flag in his hand as he waves the flag. Green flag unfurls one more time. Nice even start. Perry gets a good jump on the field as Rotundo tries to hang on. Schwenard filling the hole down on the inside. Greg Perry immediately opening up that lead. Meanwhile, Schwenard battling for second. Problems for Schwenard. A lot of smoke coming from that machine. I don't know if that's an overheating issue or what it might be, but Danny Massa caught right in the smoke screen off at turn number two. Mike Hendricks up on the outside, takes that third spot away. Massa down on the inside, three wide. Schwenard off the throttle as he tries to back it to the tail end of the field. Contact from the 28 machine. Of Austin Flanagan, he was skirting along the infield. He seems to be A-OK. -okay. Meanwhile, the battle for first does not fail to impress. Rotundo creeping in on Perry. Danny Massa down to the inside of Mike Hendricks. Battle for that third position as they hit turn number three behind them. Schoenard back up to speed. Smoke was off of four. Throw four on the outside there. Lincoln right behind as Danny Master has moved himself up into the third spot. Five laps to go. It'll be four when they cross the stripe this time again. The zero of Greg Perry will bring the field down with four remaining. Massa starting seven, finds himself in three. Meanwhile, smoke once again from the eight car of Schwenard. Again, do you wonder, is that an overheating issue? We have a lot of turn number three in Rotundo. Massa, Hendricks, and Lambert, your top five, ready to rock and roll. Schwenard, sixth. Lincoln, throw fall. Sousa and Olet, your top ten. KJ looks him over. In through the box they come, up on the throttle, green flag is out, we're back underway. And once again, Perry gets the jump, this time it's Danny Massa, glued to his rear bumper off of two. Massa trying to gain position on Rotundo, and he does give second to Massa. Perry playing defense, not letting anything up. A tad bit of three wide racing between Chenard, Lincoln, and it looks like Hendricks. Rotundo trying to slide in down to the inside. Loose through the corner, gets caught up across the nose of the 34. Everybody keeps rolling down into turn number three. Twin sticks up. It is the zero setting the pace. The 15 of Lambert is now up to second. Massa is third down the back straight away. They roll down into three and four. Right now the battle is for second. As they come off of four, white flag is in the air for Perry. Look at Massa, return to uh, Lambert, shutting the door hard. And <laughs> Massa throws it in hard and deep into one and two. Into three and four they go, side by side for second. Perry rolls off the corner, he'll pick up the win. 
second place going to Danny Massa. Wilbur holding off Hendricks at the stripe for third with Jordan Telfo rounding out the top five. Hard racing down to the stripe, and how about it? Picking up his first win of the season. You're defending. Jeremy, a good one today. The traffic was brutal tonight. Yeah, it was. I don't even know how I finished where I did. The car was out to lunch, but I held on and did what I could. You and Danny going at it over those final couple of laps. What was going through your mind? I know there was a lot of contact between the two of you. There was, but I mean, I think that was just hard racing. I mean, we were both there going for it, and I mean, what do you do at that point? I know you got some people you want to thank. Uh, I got to thank my whole family, my fiance, my kids, Richie from South Coast Power Equipment, my brother Colby, um, this man right here for driving me nicely. Hard fought from the back to the towards the front to the back towards the front. You were back and forth all night long. It happens. It's been like that since last year. I think they do it to me because they want to show, but it is what it is. No matter what they do, I'll still be up front. A good run through the field, though. A good second place finish tonight. Yeah, it could have been better try hooking me into the wall, but we'll put that in the memory bank. It is what it is. A lot of people getting you here. I know you got some people you want to thank. Absolutely. First off, Richie Helga for everything he does for everyone and all of Friday nights and for choosing me to sponsor. Um, Dutch Auto Body, Alex Lawn Care, Mark Murphy Auto Body, TFB Racing, my girlfriend Anna, and uh, little Tommy Scully in the pits. He's been helping me out since last year. Big help with him. Have you ever had an easier 30 laps? No, not today. I had a rough one today. Um, cut a tire down in practice, bent an upper control arm, ball joint. But uh, all in all, I got to say, it was a heck of a night. Once you got out front, you held a nice, comfortable lead. Did the cautions bother you at all? Mm, not really. I knew I had a car for the long run, and I just, it, started, it did start freeing up with like five to go. But I just got to thank everybody that helps me work on it. John Robido. I gotta, th I gotta thank Everett's Auto Parts. Thank you for the Triple Crown. I gotta thank my boy Danny for lending me all the parts to fix my car so I could be here tonight. And I don't. I think he wants them back now. Oh, he can have them back. It's all right. Slightly used. <laughs> but um, I just like to thank my sponsors. Um, I got Atlas Realty, One Way, Scrap Guys, um, Chattisee, Eaton and Plumbing, Zumal Tree, Compact and Baylor, Hot Event, and. Um, Petroleum, k and Auto, and I'd like to thank my mom, my sister, and my girlfriend, Lindsay, for putting up with all my and my buddies in the, in the pit, Sloppy, uh, my buddy Rob. I appreciate everybody's help. Sorry if I forgot anybody. Brent, Bryson, thank you guys. All right, congratulations. Welcome back to Victory. And my godchild, Nate.